today's video we are going to talk about a Chinese company that wants to mass produce 100 humanoid robots before 2023 ends. Yes man, you heard me right. They want to make 100 humanoid robots before 2023 ends, which sounds insane man. But the question is why do they want all of these humanoid robots in the first place in 2023? Well, I want you to stick around so that you can be able to find out because this is something that's going to blow your mind. So before we go into that make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss on any of our v future videos about robotics and ai and if you enjoy this video of course don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with maybe one or two of your friends so the name of the company we are talking about in this video is called furia intelligence and it is a tech startup that is based in shanghai china and specializes in rehabilitation of robots for physical therapy. They have been developing robots that can help patients recover from strokes, spinal cord injuries, and other conditions by providing them with personalized and interactive exercises. They have been collaborating with universities and research institutes around the world to advance the field of rehabilitation robotics. They have been doing this for a while, I think since 2015 or so. But recently, they announced something even more ambitious. They want to achieve mass production deliveries of humanoid robots within two years. That means they want to make 100 GR1 robots. This is a humanoid robot unit by the end of 2023. And what is GR1 you may wonder, you know? Well, it is the first generation humanoid robot that they unveiled at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai in July 2023. The GR1 is a stunning piece of engineering. It stands at 1.65 meters tall and weighs 55 kilograms. It has 40 degrees of freedom throughout its body, which means it can move its limbs and joints in various ways. It can walk, avoid obstacles, and perform simple tasks like holding bottles. It can also be programmed to sit, stand, and jump. It has a slick design and a friendly face that make it look like a futuristic companion. So the GR1 is not just a, sh a toy or a showpiece. It has a huge potential in various applications, including industrial rehabilitation and scientific research. For example, it can be used as a test bed for developing new algorithms and technologies for humanoid robots. And it can also be used as a platform for exploring human-robot interaction and social robotics. And most importantly, it can be used as a caregiver in the therapy assistant for people who need help with daily activities or physical recovery. And uh, the F Fourier Intelligence, they hope to transform the GR1 into a robot that can assist patients from the bed to wheelchairs, help them pick up objects and provide them with emotional support. They also hope to make the GR1 a companion at home for the elderly who stay alone or need some company. Imagine having a robot friend that can chat with you, play games with you, and keep your company. How cool would that be? I think it would be amazing. The truth is, most of our old people, they stay alone, so having a robotic companion might be something pretty cool. And as of now, there's still many challenges and obstacles to overcome before the GR1 can become a reality. The robot is still in research and development phase and it needs to improve its stability, intelligence and safety. It also needs to comply with ethical and legal standards for human-robot interaction and it, and it needs to be affordable and accessible for the general public. But as of now, Furia Intelligence is confident that they can achieve their goal of mass producing humanoid robots in two years. They have a strong team of engineers, researchers, and entrepreneurs 
who are passionate about robotics and AI. They also have a global network of partners and investors who support their vision and they have a clear mission to empower people with the technology and make their lives better. So what do you think? Do you think food intelligence can pull this off? Do you think human robots are the future of robotics and AI? And would you like to have a GR1 robot as your friend or helper? Let me know in the comment section below. And that is that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with some of your cool friends. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching, man. Stay stay cool stay chill be safe see you in the next one